The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, the 8th of October. We're looking at the Dow 28 to 41,980. That's really not the story. The story is, and you can see it right here in the E-mini, look. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, when you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, no matter what it looks like, there's just a really good chance that you will still make that D. That's the obligation of the Chapman Wave methodology to get you a buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode, takes you to at least four higher peaks. Well, I looked at this. You went to that peak C in the five-minute chart. You did make a peak D in the one-minute chart. If you use that phantom peak right there, that worked out beautifully. And it kept pulling back, but it didn't take out the starting point. In this particular instance, what do we do? It suddenly soared to leg D in the five-minute chart. And I looked at this, as, I counted this a thousand ways in the 10-minute in the chart. And I, everything said to me, that was a peak F doji candle at about 6.15 this morning, 6.20 this morning. I saw that. It pulled back. It didn't do very much. The nine period, look how strong this green nine period moving average is over the 14. It goes higher. There's only one way I can count it is a G slash B, an alternate count, and it pulls back. And then what happens is it pulls back. That nine period moving average refused to go pink. And that is usually like a spring. It's like a loaded spring that says, whoo, be careful because it's going to find support. It doesn't tell you how high it's going to go, but it says, you're not breaking down. You're going to rally first. And lo and behold, it springs higher and it goes to peak C and a D. And now we've at least completed the objective. Now other things can happen at a peak D. This day, a one minute chart went to an E. Still, look at that nine period moving average holding so well. Same thing in the five. I wanted to mention this because this technique right here, the technique that says, if the nine period moving average is holding above the 14, it is powerful. That's what you want to see if you're in a buy mode. We are long the Dow uh, aggressively, both diamonds and the three times long, since they are August low. Yes, August low. And lo and behold, look at that. The green is still well above the 14. Um, even though the Dow, uh, this is a weekly chart, actually. Let me just show you something that's even more interesting. I'm going to go to the daily chart. Daily chart went a little bit underneath, and yet the 9 p moving average is turning down, but it's still green. That's really important. Look at this. The S&P, same thing. Now, I should mention we do have a short position in the SH, just a one-to-one -one small position. It's a kind of insurance because there wasn't any telling with that move down whether it would continue. And I'm talking about this as a sideways consolidation. So with that said, let me just run numbers. And then before I forget, I need to put this right here. Yeah, let me just show you this. I had done this and showed subscribers to my opening call. And I said, there is a chance that we've seen an internal high and then a residual high. Think of this as earthquake and aftershock. You know, sometimes an aftershock can be more, it could be stronger than the earthquake, sometimes nothing. Sometimes you have to wait a while and then uh, there's this reverberation. But it's the, um, so you get an internal high, that's the, the earthquake, and then you get the residual high. And as I say, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's low. In this case, it's higher and it says, there's a chance that we've got maybe a dreaded H pattern that says what you've taken out and held above the left side low in the Dow of the 3rd of October. You did go for quite a number of bars above this inside track repellent zone, but now you're back under it. Let me just, I don't like to use this particular chart for more than what it's supposed to do. And that's really to explain the Chapman Wave Dark News Index. But that's what we've got. So we've up, we're back below it. it. Means that this whole area is like a like a magnet. It drags it in, drags it out, and that's where we are. So let's just go back to the story. And that's the reason why, for about a couple of weeks now, I've been looking at this and saying 
I believe we're going for a sideways consolidation, a high-level consolidation. That'll change if certain levels are taken out. Now, this is the same chart. Look, this is the daily chart of the Dow, except it's not because it's the one-minute chart of the E-mini. You see this nine-period moving average? Let's follow that because this is exactly what we're looking at in the Dow. So if that green suddenly turns pink, it means it's going to go down a little bit more. All right, so let's get back to our story. All right, here we go. So there's that green line right there, daily chart. Weekly chart is still fantastic. Look at this high, look at that green line, nine period moving edge, way over the 14. Look at the MACD. Stochastic flat at 90% or 92% in this case, fabulous. That's what you want if you're all on. So the question came in, are, are, what are we looking at in the shorter term? Shorter term, I'm calling this a consolidation. Intermediate term, I have no choice but to say uh, that the QQQ, the NDX 100, where did I type that? Oh, I typed it in that chart. doesn't matter. Let me put it in this chart. Right here. QQQ, one, two, three. Uh, up four and a half right now at 486.73. It hasn't, so it's bypassed the time that it should take to give you a, a left side, right side price time match. That was yesterday and today, it's way below. So what I like to do is I don't like messy charts. I just take this out and say, didn't work. It's not my fault. I just do the analysis as best I can. And in this particular instance, we, we don't have a position in the QQQs, but I'm monitoring very carefully because it is an incredibly important ingredient in the overall market. It's been stalling, but way. 486 right now, all-time high is five over, over 503. It's just a few percentage points away from an all-time high. And this is the reason why I say intermediate term, I am looking for higher highs for a leg D. You're in a buy mode in the QQQ, Invesco QQQ Trust Series. It's the NDX100, NDX.X. Look at this. This is now, this is fascinating. Look, NDX point X. There we go. Um, so that made a EFG. That made a G top right there, and that becomes an A, A B. That's a C. It should still go to a D in the daily, but it's under the previous high. So that means you've got to be careful. There was a peak B in the weekly chart. I'm still looking at A B. There's another B. I'm looking at higher highs because the nine period moving average is good. And there's your peak C in the monthly chart. That should go to a D. So looking into medium term, I'm looking for higher highs. Shorter term, I just think we're in this very choppy period. Fund managers have been lured into getting into the market, whether they like it or not. But what are they doing? They're trying to stick with the best of the best matter. Look at this. Down a little bit today from the high of yesterday. All-time high at peak D in the 600, uh, just over 600. Leg E in the weekly, leg C in the monthly. It still needs to go to a D. Very good. There's a Chapman Wave instant restart right there. That is still legitimate and in place. So I need to go through a couple of things. Let's just do this real quick. SMH is really important. They're up a little bit, up 2.17 at 250.39. So far, that's a good sign. But if you look at the weekly chart, they're really struggling. They're not that far away from an all-time high, but they're in the middle of the range and they kind of struggle. I'll be back. Dow's now down 57. As it is a pretty nice puzzle chap and type of technicians out. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, so just let me do this while I got a the questions right there and it's on my mind. Um, EANW, which is Palo Alto Network, Cybersecurity, Peak B in the monthly chart, still should go to a C and a D, still very positive. Uh, the weekly chart made a peak D. It's had this big digestive phase. The 9 still way over the 14. Today, the 9 in the daily chart flipped positive, and it's up 15 at 353.32, up 4.5. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've drawn in this pattern where I use the plumb line as the low. I happen to not particularly agree with what I've drawn. I've drawn it in, and it's kind of that's the tradition that I like to do. Um, but if I'm looking at it like this, I would have said it needs a lot more time to get back to the 370, uh, 5.37 uh, high that was made on the 20th of August, and I would have stretched it out. And I would have thought, not yet, not today, but yesterday, I would have said, hmm, maybe there's a little bit of a bounce, but you've got a rectangle formation, you've got a lot of resistance right here on the 13th of September, at 352.50. And lo and behold, where are we today? We, we already hit 345 round number low, and now we're at 355.51. So I need to just do a couple of things here to show you this is what I'd be doing. So the question is, uh, could I do a little work on pa uh, Palo Alto, P-A-N-W, trading at 353.75 of 15.80? And my answer to that is I can do the work and I can just tell you, I'm going to ignore the general market for the moment. And what I will say is, based just on the chart formation, that the sideways consolidation with lower lows and lower highs has to, over the next day's Tuesday, so by going from this Thursday into next Monday or Tuesday, there needs to be a series of higher highs and higher lows. I don't care really how high it goes, but I do think that 345 to 343 support has to hold. If it takes that out or just touches it, then this is just sideways stalling and it's probably going to go back to lower highs and lower lows, number one. Number two is I've drawn the pattern, uh, which is kind of the, the credo that I have, but in fact, what I normally would do is go to the left side low after that trough 
And I just need to check to see if it did make a lower low. Um, that was 328.72 on the 18th and 328.25. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it did make a lower low. So I can then use this particular low. Now I can get into the, the area that I'm looking at. So now what I want to do is to draw the trap wave inside wedge target repellent line, the dash green when it's rising diagonal line, and say this is more what I'm looking at. And I would not even go to the high. I would start off right here and say that's where I would want the low to be over there. And I'd draw this in and I'd go parallel, click for the parallel. I had a tremendous, as, uh, I was so startled this morning because I, every day I, I shut down, I keep it overnight, keep all my computers on all the way through the night. In the morning, I shut down and refresh. Just, I found that that saves me from those terrible things when I lose the information because suddenly the, uh, something happens overnight uh, and shuts down without me doing it without saving. And I try to save all the time in any case. And it said, um, uh, Trade Station uh, must update to the, to the newest uh, edition. I thought, oh, my God, I've got this 95.5 or something. It, it goes back years decades, uh, maybe one, maybe 12 years when I last updated, and they don't do any updating anymore of that particular, uh, that particular series, 95. They've already updated there. I don't know where they are, but they have changed it. I love this old way I've done. I've got all my charts notated. I do it all by hand. Look, you can see, yes, Apollo Alta that we thought it was split. There's a peak C and a D, but once it's split, there's the C and D. I have to do that all over again. I have to redo that. Yes, you can automate it, but automation, as far as I'm concerned, eliminates certain key metrics that I use, um, and uh, I haven't found a way to, to resolve that yet. There will be a way at some point, and I will get into chat. Uh, I haven't done much at all, but I will get into that and figure it all out, but not yet. So this is what I'm looking at here. Thank goodness everything's working. I would go to the lowest high right there. So I'm just going to say... It's going up very nicely today, holding all the way through the first hour without giving back anything. There's something going on. If it's earnings or whatever it is, maybe someone over there is going to tell me. Uh, nope. Okay. So as far as I can see, the 9 period moving average of the weekly is fabulous. This is looking really nice, really good. And if you look at HACK, this is part of the components of HACK, which is the cybersecurity ETF. Uh, that's made all-time highs, gone to a leg D um, in the daily. This is I've got a brand new B in the weekly and peak C1, C2 in the daily. So you can see that this is one of the contributors to the strength of hack. So I like this very much. Now, what I will say to you is Palo Alto, in this tip, I always wondered when we were going down, down, down over there, why on earth would it be going down? That was back in 2022 to 2023. But in fact, it's so important, cybersecurity. Anyway, now it's in play. It's hot. It's doing well. This is just a digestive phase. At a peak C, I've got no other count for it. It should go to a D, but there could still be an overlap. But in the meantime, I've been looking at, and a couple of people asked me about cyber, so I'm doing that right now. Not about this one. They asked about a couple of others. So I'm just saying 348 is a very near-term support. Any, any pullback under 348 near-term says, oh, oh, it's stalling. Right now, it's looking good. So go one step at a time. I'm not targeting the 370s yet. I'm talking to the 360, what did I say? It was five, 360, 6.85 level, and that's really it. So it's looking good, it's acting well. I grabbed the 120-minute chart for a second. This is peak A, peak B, C, D. Yeah, big gap up in D. Can expect a little bit of a pullback if normal things occur. But so far, this is almost independent of the market. It's just doing its thing. I like it, yes. Hope that helped you. Uh, next question came in. Um, oh, Goldman Sachs raises price target on Palo Alto Networks to 425 from 376, maintains a buy rating. All right, I, to what? To 425. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I have, I have no qualms with that. Um, they don't say when. Me, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say when either, but I would say uh, in 2024, if in October, all of October going into the second week of November, 
there are higher highs and higher lows, or even just higher highs. Um, and at any point it hits 382 to get into the 380s for the first time. Oh, I said for the first time I shouldn't have said that because it has already been to 380.84. So if it can close in the 383 to 385 area, that will be really good action. Really, good. Then I can see that 400 uh, area being hit. All right, with that said, oh, we've got a break. Well, it took a little bit of time there. So let me just show you the dollar as we're going out. The dollar's uh, unchanged. It's up. Oh, it's up a penny, holding really well. Gold down 16. We need to talk about this when I return. Down, down 16. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the fund involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, let me just do this quickly because uh, there's a lot that I have to do. I believe that we're probably going to be closed tomorrow. 
um, obviously with the storm coming up, just please, we, we, you know, our thoughts are with you down there in Florida, actually everywhere that there's the, these floods. It's unbelievable. But, um, yeah, our thoughts are with you, and we're just hoping that somehow or other, uh, there's just whatever is going to happen turns out to be uh, something that in a few days' time we can say, phew, thank goodness it wasn't as bad as we thought. That's all. Um, all right. So this is ASPN, Aspen Aerogels, Inc., uh, trading at 29 down $1.62. The question came in, um, what do I think on the one hand? I want to close it ASAP. On the other hand, I want to add it around 2155. I might do both. Yeah, so let me just do this. You see within this, there's a buy signal and the stochastic and everything went very nicely to that peak B. Then I always watch this very closely. If the stochastic really tanks with the price and goes back under 80%, that's just a warning to say, be really careful. But then within that, it has a peak A, B, C, D. That D negates that B, and that becomes a priority. That says, ha, huh, now you've got a new, so what does it do? It does the dreaded H pattern. The lows that were made uh, back on the 10th and uh, 11th, so 2278 and 2288 on the 10th and 11th, well, today's low is uh, 2275. So it's taken it out. That's the dreaded H, but so far it's holding above that left side low. So... I, I can see what you want to do, but if you look at the weekly chart, that nine is still very strong. The MACD is weak, stochastics only at sixty one percent, but not breaking down, it's just weak. On balance volumes pull back. So I'm just going to say you might have a plan, but it might be so sophisticated that it's really hard for that plan to actually work. You've got twenty one fifty six as a two hundred period exponential moving average. That would be my target. And you'd said 2155. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, it is. No, it's 2156. You got 2155. That's fine. So I would, that's a plan. But if it takes out 2155, it could go quite a bit lower. So I, I'm going to recommend, you asked me, what do I think technically? I'm going to say I have to go to the 120 minute chart. And that's just saying right now. There it is. And that's under. It's moved, pushed away from the 200-period moving average. Um, and it's, you see, that was the support level back on the 11th and 12th of 10th, 11th, 12th of September. You can see that was beautiful. That's where it took off and it retested successfully. So this is tough because if you look, I don't know what they do. But I, I, I looked it up some time ago. Now I can't remember. But it's got a peak D in the monthly chart, and it's holding really well. So I I don't know if I would get so kind of – I'd have to wait a day. You know, if tomorrow it drops under 20 to 65, then you're just a point away from the – you know, with the whole process of getting in and out and in and out. If you are going to – if you want to buy it back – just a point and a half lower. I think that's a lot of work. So I do one thing at a time. Uh, the day is young. The Dow's down 38. The S&P is down up th 35. It's holding. This is a mixed market, and that's the reason why I'm saying this is a consolidation phase and high-level consolidation, rotating through sector after sector after sector. And therefore, I'm just going to say that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> I I would just do this. I would say. Because I've brought it up as a an arch formation that's failing, I would take a little bit off. To me, just taking a 22.86, 22.90, I take a little bit off. That's number one. I wouldn't want to buy it yet. I'd have to wait for a lot of a lot of action, and I'd just say, I'd be money management says take something off. The other technicals, the weekly and monthly, are still good. If this is this goes to twenty, and if this breaks twenty one, this week, that's a real problem because that I'm almost sure that will start to affect the weekly chart by turning pink. So I am looking, not looking at the other, the upside. I'm looking at safety, and I'm just saying that's the way I would be looking at it. I hope that helps you. Uh, okay, 
whoops, I just did something I didn't want to do. Be careful, be careful, be careful. So let me go back to, there you go. Okay, next question is, ESZ4 looked like it was picking up uh, fuel to go longer as it churned with a one-minute EMAS cross the M25. Okay, it often means an upward breakout is beginning. Uh, wait a minute, let's just see. What, oh, that could have been a little while ago. We are talking about 10.09, and here it is at 10.36. Oh, it's a lifetime in the one-minute chart. So you could be right, you could be wrong, you could be both. Let me just check that out. You see, this is so fascinating. Look, a peak E of the one-minute chart, wow, buyers just keep keep coming in. And that's the reason why I'm saying I don't want to get too carried away looking at the short side. I think selectively, absolutely, but not as a as a – as a market action, I just I'm treating this as a consolid high level consolidation. If we can get through another day or two, even that's going to say, um, still with October thinking of November the 5th, that means um, there could be a lot of play between now and the next week or two or three. So I'm not, I'm not going to do anything, however, I am going to say that it has to be selectively long. Because you can't just arbitrarily get something that you've liked and you waited and waited and it's dropping and dropping. Now you think this is the perfect time. I think I would be buying strength at this, but the only stocks that are showing strength. So, yeah, you've already got your PE under the previous uh, peak. This is now a D still in the five minute chart and a D in the 10 minute chart. So, this is look, let me go back to this right here. I, I drew this in. Uh, no, let me show you this chart that I showed subscribers to my opening call. I drew this in. There was a peak D. Three, two bars later, it went to a higher high, so that had an alternate count, uh, E slash A, as a channel wave instant restart. But once it went that peak F reversal, I said, I, I don't like this. I don't th Actually, I've been saying all the time, I don't think it's going much higher. I think we're going to consolidate, and that instant restart will disappear. Well, I've now drawn in the rectangle, and that just says for three weeks we've been in this trading band, and we've stayed there, and we're starting to make lower highs and lower lows. And if at any point we actually now look, here's this I show this here's Chapman Wave automated support levels 41,423, 41,000, uh, what is that, 600, and a whole bunch, even in the 120 minute chart. So you've got that support, but you've also got, look, upside resistance. So we're trapped at this particular point in a range. I'll be right back. Uh, Dow is down 35, S&P's up 34. Isn't that interesting? I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? 
Don't let the market leave you in the dust. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello, so a couple of questions came in. So a question came in about RNR. Uh, RNR uh, is uh, Renaissance uh, RE, uh, sorry, Renaissance RE Holdings. So this is a reinsurance company, had a horrible session yesterday. It pops up to, is that a round number right there? It pops up to an all-time all high, well, at least the most recent high, of 279.78 uh, three days ago. Yesterday, it slumped. So it goes from 7.79. So this is 279.76. Down to a low yesterday of 251.50. And today it's having an inside bar, inside day up 11.78. So the question is uh, what exactly was the question? Could I do a uh, reinsurance business? So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I got another one that I missed. Oh, I got to do a lot. I had a whole a bunch of other things I was going to do today, but I got the questions. That's what we're here for. What's my count? So, you need guidance. So I don't know if you're in it or out of it. If you need guidance, it means that you have some, some skin in the game, just mentally or physically, I don't know. What I'm going to say is that a lot of the time with the insurance companies, certainly they have to pay out in the storm. But wow, many times, a lot of them come back with huge increases the following year or at least another year or two. That's why they're always going to higher highs. I think that must be it. So all I can say is that I give you the numbers that say it has to do this otherwise. So let's just give it, I'm going to give it a full, because you're looking at this, it must be a little bit more than a day trade, right? It's a little bit more intermediate term. I would say to you that if over the next entire month of October, I'd probably like to say until the 25th of October, let's just say the whole month, if it has, it doesn't have to close, but if it doesn't, Go under 240, uh, 245. I can't, I can't go much more than that. It's really terrible. But if it can hold 245, and just chop around here, and have sudden spikes to the upside, and then lower lows, but not, yeah, I'm gonna have to say closing, not closing under 244. That's really good action. Looking out, I'm doing months. But if on a short-term basis there is a daily close in this wick that we're looking at right now, just using the wick as an example, 
under two, it's a tra training at 265.59. If there is a close, and I think there probably is going to be under 256, you've got to be careful that that left that the law of yesterday isn't tested. Um, this is a very this I would not be buying it right now, but I would put it on my list as something that should. Look at this monthly chart from the low that was made at about 123 or so back in 2022. And look, it's more than doubled. So you could just normally an aspiration, I'd treat it as some kind of a pullback to the uh, one third, maybe a 250 where it was yesterday. That kind of area, 250, let's say, is going to be really important, uh, a short term, but certainly I think the two, two upper 240s. That's really important. So short term, you got to. If you're in it, I would use any rally to take something off, but be prepared that you could put it back, but you have to wait. I hope that helps you. And it's really difficult because these things have a life of their own. But normally, these, when it comes to insurance and the payout, they try to make it up, and invariably they do. Next question was Owl A W L. Huh? I don't remember seeing Owl. This is. Oh, yeah, I have. Blue L Capital. I've just seen the name and I, I chuckled, but I've never followed it. Yeah, having a little bit of a dip today, 20.57. All the technicals are strong, the daily, the weekly, the monthly. This is uh, Blue L Capital Inc., so whatever they're in, probably uh, the money management uh, or of some sort. I'm just going to say to you, key support on a short-term base, trading at 20.57, down 15 cents. I'd watch the lower level. So this is... The, the green is 20.00. That's the 20 is the green nine period moving average. The black is 19.60 to turn pink. And I, I wouldn't be surprised in the next two months that there's a certain period where it goes pink and the nine period moving average goes negative and the stochastic at 91% goes down to 65%. I'm saying to you that this whole area of 2056, the whole area of once it takes out 18 support, you've got to be careful. But right now, the very short-term support is between 20 and 19, I say 19.40. A close under that says, all right, now we're in for a short-term. At least treat it as a short-term uh, digestive phase. Upside, now this is going to be very important because upside, this is it was an IPO back in 2020, so it's really relatively new to the game, four years. Um, I would just say the upside it's going to be really important that it closes above 20.22. If it can start something fresh in the 22 area, because it's just touched 20, 20 for the first time, but if it can get, if it can hold in the 22s, that's going to be really good. Uh, that's looking out maybe a couple of weeks. Next question came in Mosaic, the Mosaic company, I believe it's called. There it comes, the MOS, trading 25, 27, down 47 cents. Yes, in the Potash area, Something's been going on that whole area. I used to have this all notated because we used to follow this cl closely when there was a big fertilizer boom. No, that wasn't Washington. That was just fertilizers, right? A, B, C, D made a peak. D just under 80 uh, back in 2022. And then, wow, look at that uh, pyramid shape. So I, I would hold off. Um, can you give you a take, please? It has uh, one year high, 38 uh, and 24 is low. Six year, 25. Yeah, you're not in it. What I'm going to suggest, give me a yell. Uh, this is Duncan, Steve in the den. Let's look at it together. I, I'm looking at this as a begin, uh, end of October, beginning of November. The the way the the markets, this particular market's moving, it's saying to me, you'll start, you should start to see higher highs and higher lows to start a more sequential buy signal in the weekly chart that becomes a buy mode a little later on, just to give you a number, it would have to trade on a closing basis above, I'd say 29.80. I'm going to say 30. It's trading at 25.29. As soon as it starts to trade above 30, I think that monthly chart is going to change and it'll start to move higher. So let's hold off. And it needs to maybe retest 24. But what I'm going to say to you, if you've done your homework and you actually like it, why not start just a nibble? You could even do it here at 25, 29, 
but it's not the position. This is just to get a real feel how it behaves in the market conditions. Personally, I'm going to wait. Uh, it's on my list, but I'm going to wait. Uh, Dow's at 15, S&P's at 44. Wow. I'll be right back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. White Lightning. White Lightning with you. We are all thinking that you guys just we want you to be safe, sound, <clears throat> And our thoughts are with you, our prayers are with you. So SLV is iShare Silver Trust. Question came in. Yeah, this has made a very serious short-term top in the daily chart. It's down a dollar of three at 27.91. This is a peak E, and the um, nine is still over the 14. That's a good sign. A peak F slash B in the in the weekly. All the technicals in the weekly still are holding pretty good. And a leg E finally. <clears throat> excuse me, in the monthly chart. So. I'm just going to say on a very short term basis, 27 to 26.80, 26.50 is key support. If it takes that out, 25.47 will be silver's uh, uh, support level in the GLD. Oh, I don't know if I've updated this GLD. Let me just see if I can get this before the break. And you're going to be going to Steve Rhodes. Oh, I don't know if Steve's around because of uh, the storm, but hopefully he is. I'll check uh, in a moment. But yeah. So this is a peak E in, in the GLD, peak D uh, weekly, holding it really well. I, I would just say that 240 to 238 is just the near-term support. But if it goes under 236, that nine-period moving average will be negative. So any bounces, say, 
is probably a little bit of a cap on the upside. So let me just do this real quickly. <clears throat> um, we won't be here tomorrow because of the storm. Hopefully we'll all be back Thursday and we'll say, phew, uh, it wasn't as bad as we thought. Just let's hope that's the case. In the meantime, watch the VIX index, VIX.X, as we go to the break uh, down at 21.35. I'd say to subscribers, we want to see it down below 21. Um, that will say that there could be further upside. But I believe this is a rotational correction going on. Certain stocks are doing well. Others are really doing very poorly. Like Microsoft is really struggling, whereas Matt is going to all-time highs. So with that said, have a great uh, rest of the day. I should be back a little later on with whoever's doing the 3 o'clock show. Otherwise, check out my opening call daily newsletter. We will see you on Thursday. Everything works out.